All right, aloha, suns and waters. Let's tap in. Mm. Enchantment. I see someone is enchanted by you. Someone's enchanted by your energy, by your aura. Mm, play by your playfulness as well. They see you having fun at work. They see you as this very creative person. And I'm seeing that you even stimulate creativity within them. That's why they're so enchanted. I'm feeling like, you know, maybe they were the type that wasn't too playful. And now they're like, why the hell am I giggling all the time? Why do I feel like a kid again? Procrastination and seed okay so they could be procrastinating about the fact that they watch you bloom the fact that they want to plant these seeds with you the fact that they want to come forth but choose not to Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that got whipped like a fucking frisbee. Okay, well, they could be procrastinating because of the problems and excuses. <clears throat> right? Maybe they're so focused on the logistics of things, the in-betweens. Yeah, it's like someone's planting a seed and wondering when will it, when will it grow? How will it grow? Will they have enough water? What happens when it grows? What if I have to harvest it by myself? You know, just a lot of overthinking. A lot of balance, a lot of stability. I'm seeing that. <coughs> the exhaustion is the ticket for some strange reason. Because maybe because the focusing on the problems and excuses causes so much exhaustion and stress that they have no choice but to make an offering. They have no choice to tell you how they feel. It's too heavy. Mm -hmm. God of Cups, emotions, testing the waters, telling you how you, telling you how they feel. Wow, that's going right on the heavy burdens as well. <coughs> and it's like they got a wake up call. And it's like they're ready. They're ready to... I'm seeing it's already heavy. So what's the worst that could happen? And it's also like once you release that exhaustion, once, once you release that stress, it gives you enough energy to step into your purpose. Yeah, because it would be hard as hell to carry all this on your mind going up these stairs. So it had to be released. It had to be planted. It had to be communicated. Mm-hmm. There could have other people around 
that's creating these obstacles, causing them to procrastinate. I, I see them digging up the seed. Hmm. But it's already planted. But it's already planted. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. And they're going to experience a lot of karma for that. For whoever is around digging up the seeds, trying to keep you away from each other. Trying to keep you from blooming, keep them from blooming, keep this partnership from blooming, the celebrations. They're going to receive a lot of karma for that because this is destined... This is not only going to create stability within your household, but I'm seeing within the entire community. It's going to allow others to release their heavy burdens and step into their life's purpose as well. Creating these, creating that bridge for others to cross over. To make it to the other side. To get to the top. Yeah. Building the stable foundation for, you know, even allowing others to get to the top. Reaching their peak. Their peak of success. Success in relationships. Success even in good health. You know, I'm, I'm seeing like guiding people into... Careers that allow them to be creative and play and have fun. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm seeing... <sighs> because it felt like this, I'm seeing whatever emotions... That these people that are going to be receiving a lot of karma for. It's going to be hidden from you. It's going to be hidden so there's no form of trickery. Mm, wow. No form of trickery. Because every time they come around, there's always some shady ass shit going on. Always trying to chain themselves to you or your person manipulative someone that doesn't speak their truth someone that just wants to <sighs> take you to the grave i just heard till death do us part type energy but their emotions will be hidden all that will be hidden because this is so stable Supreme, because you're the supreme. Your person's also in their supreme energy. Yeah, they have all the tools they need. They already have, feel that two of cups energy within. They feel connected to their past, present, and future enough to create these stable energies within them. Everything, yeah, they don't seek, seek these things externally because they know that they have that power. Mm. Sideways. The emperor. Something stable, a leader. Someone that knows how to lead. Someone that knows how to lead their community. So this could even be friendship as well, right? The career. It's like these two feminines together in their supreme energy, honoring their emotions. And then it gives the masculines the energy to step into his power because the feminines are stepping into theirs. They're remaining in their power, knowing exactly who they are and why they came here. And it does that for the men because we're the ones in charge of that because we the mamas. Complete. Wow. And the lovers. 
complete completion of a cycle. And that's the cycle of women being in their power, men being in their power, creating stability, creating this pathway, paving the way, paving the fucking way. Take charge with authority. Autumn, release the old and rest. Sage, be devoted and committed. And snake, shed old skin. I'm going to read the snake from the book. We have two S's here. Essence. Essence. What is that? I'm thinking of something. I heard something when I said SS. It's going to mean something for you. Maybe that's someone's initials. There you are, snake. Cast off the old, reveal your true colors, talents, and gifts to the world. In spiritual tra traditions, the snake offers powerful medicine. In tantric teachings, it symbolizes the kundalini, which is the powerful serpentine energy within that allows you to reach your highest spiritual potential. When the sacred one saw the snake, in nature or encountered one in a dream they knew that there was transformation in the air for me the snake card not only represents the shedding of the old skin but moving beyond the limitations caused by carrying the venom of negative thoughts about others or the past the energy of renewal is washing over your life at this time if for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others. Know that this energy is now leaving you as you've been working through your old stories and all the self-limiting beliefs that you've accompanied along the way. Oh, excuse me. It says accumulated, but that was for a reason, accompanied. So I'm hearing, you know, somebody was accompanying you on this journey, so it's just not... You know, not just you. That's the, that's the snake shedding that skin. But like I said, spirit's going to be blocking that off. But you have to shed it. You have to release it. You have to put the fucking... Not heal in the same... Well, well, well. You can't heal in the same environment that got you sick. Hold on. Mm -mm. Self-limiting beliefs that you accumulated along the way. You've been peeling away <clears throat> a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences. Your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized. And now the external world will begin to reflect all the work you've been doing within. If you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently, they will be able to see beyond that if you're willing to recognize your own challenges. This is a time for renewal, abundance, and connection. Let yourself be reborn and celebrated. Beautiful energy. So celebrating the rebirths. Shed, if you have to throw yourself a baby shower for the you that's about to be birthed soon. May even be a goddamn bridal shower. All right. 
This is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate. If you want to book a personal reading, that information is found in the description box. Aloha, sons and waters.